So you're a B'nai Noahide now, and you're wondering, what do I do next for now? And also in this narrative, I'll be speaking either in the first person narrative, which is me, or the second or third person narrative, which is you out there. When you wake up in the morning, go ahead and do your normal routine to get ready. Get your coffee or tea or broth, whatever is normal for you in the mornings. After washing hands, do the morning prayers, standing up and facing east. But I must admit, early morning I sit in my chair and do them. When I first wake up, I'm still very sleepy. After the prayers, I put on my Wi-Fi headphones and go to kabod.org, then click on the date and time, and that takes you to the study page. I scroll down to where it says Kumash, C-H-U-M-A-S-H. Then I click Joshua B. Gordon, Kumash Reading, which is a daily Torah reading. I really enjoy listening to him every morning for learning the Torah in a year. You can either read along or just listen to it. After that, you can do any memorizing studies you want to do. I've just about got all of the morning prayers memorized, almost, but I still have a little more to go. Being older, it's harder for me to memorize. And you're good until around, oh, say, noonish, around noon or after. After washing hands, do your afternoon prayers. And then after that, any study that you feel you want to do. And then that's it until evening when you're about ready to go to bed. Uh, what I do is I wash my hands, get ready for bed, check everything, you know, like doors locked, outside lights on, and so on. Get the coffee ready for the morning. I should stand up to do prayers and face east, of course, but I end up putting on a shirt for prayers, and I do the prayers in bed sitting up against the pillow against the headboard. After prayers, I take the shirt off. I sleep in skibbies, but no shirt as I once used to do as a kid. I have tattoos, so I cover them up for prayer and then take the shirt off for sleep. I wish I had never got the tattoos, but thankfully, they are only two and very small, but still young and stupid and drunk. As a Benin Noahide, you do not have to go to a church and definitely not a secular church or any church at all. But you should get to know a Kabod rabbi near you. You can find this by going to Kabod.org and then look for a Kabod locator. There will be one or two or several near you. Now, you want to convert, you can, but you can also just be who you are or who you were born as, and so just be a B'nai Noahide. But if you find that you are Jewish, then go to the synagogue and convert. But any Noahides can go to synagogues too. You can also check out my website, thenoahide.com, but it's mainly for getting the word out to the Jewish and Gentiles who don't know they are Jewish or the Gentiles who never heard about the seven Noahide laws for the nations of the world. And that's it. Then the morning comes and you do it all over. Sometimes I forget the afternoon, so I try not to, but eh, I'm getting older. Sometimes I do. Thank you very much. This is Irvin Ferguson.